What's up everyone? Welcome back to Geek J, where we make tech tutorials and gaming simpler and better. Today we'll be diving into the world of AMD's FSR, or Fidelity FX Super Resolution, and how to manually update it in your games for potentially better performance and better image quality especially when we are upscaling. Many games ship with uh, older versions of AMD FSR, but AMD makes newer, better versions available online because all of their GPU open, as the name suggests, is open sourced. So today I'm going to show you how to swap those files manually and potentially get an FPS boost and improvements to image quality. So let's get to it. For those who don't know, FSR is AMD's open source spatial upscaling technology. It renders your game at a lower resolution and then intelligently upscales it to your desired output resolution. This allows us to get higher frame rates without a huge loss in visual fidelity. It's a great option, especially for lower end hardware. AMD frequently updates FSR, improving its algorithms and image quality. However, game developers don't always update the FSR files in their games. And this is where this video comes in. So why bother updating those files manually? Well, game patches often focus on bug fixes, gameplay tweaks, and uh, other features and updating FSR might not be a top priority, even though it sounds very simple. But it would probably cost a lot of time and money for the studios to just test the newer versions that AMD publishes quite often. By manually updating, you ensure you're using the latest and greatest version, potentially getting better performance and image quality. So first things first, you'll need the updated FSR files. And uh, where do we find those? We need to head over to AMD's GPU Open GitHub page. And you can find the link to this in the description below. Probably somewhere down there. Just, just take a look. It's there. I know. So let's get to a browser and I'll be showing you where you can find those downloads. So over here, this is the GPU Open library by AMD and it could be a bit confusing in the beginning but what we're looking for is here on the right side where it says releases and we will click on this plus six releases. The reason we do this usually is because sometimes maybe they have a non-stable release like a beta release and it wouldn't uh, get you into that area if you just click on the latest because the latest is usually the latest stable release so anyway we're gonna just click on this plus six releases and then we have access to all of the uh, current and previous versions and uh, if we go here on the download we will see fidelity effects does sdk does v 1.1.3. zip so this is the file we need and we're gonna click on it and download it to our desktop. So let's close out of our browser window and you can see the file is right here on my desktop. We're gonna double click on this and 7-zip will uh, show me the files in this folder. And usually the FSR files are located in the bin folder and you can see here we have the AMD Fidelity FX underscore dx12.dll and uh, vk.dll. This is for, as you can guess, DirectX 12 and Vulkan. So if the game also has a Vulkan render available for you to choose, you just take both of these files and overwrite the original files. But instead of overwriting, we're going to do something better. So first of all, we need to locate our game uh, installation folder location. So if we're using Steam, that would be pretty uh, simple. So let me just open up my Steam and let's go on a fairly new game. Let's go with uh, Marvel Rivals. We're going to right click on Marvel Rivals 
go to manage and then we're gonna go to browse local files so usually where are those files located um, it depends on the game sometimes you probably need to do some digging to find the correct location but we are practically looking for these two files and most modern games will never change the naming scheme that AMD uses so it's going to be named exactly the same they will change nothing it's going to be AMD underscore FidelityFX underscore dx 12dll and uh, so on and so forth usually these are located not where the launcher of a game is or the generic exe file but where the actual exe that runs when you run the game is located so we're gonna go into marvel game marvel uh, binaries win64 and as you can see this is the actual exe that the game runs when you run the game through steam and uh, over here whoop, we got our first file it's amd underscore fidelity effects underscore dx 12.dll so how do we know which version this is and if the version that uh, comes with the game is uh, actually the latest version or not so you can see there it says file version it's 1.0.0.0 36604 if you don't see that for any reason you can just right click on this go to properties and then details and you can see the same number over here it says file version 1.0.0.36604 so uh basically we need to replace this file so before we do anything and drag and drop any files i would suggest you back up these files and what i usually do to back these up uh if something goes wrong i just replace uh with the original uh i do it in a very simplistic but very easy way i just right click on the file i'm going to overwrite uh and i just rename it go to the end of it uh just add another uh dot there or full stop and then just write backup and just like that, this file is not a DLL anymore, and I can just drag and drop this file in here. I will right click on this, go to properties, details, and you can see this is a very new version of uh, the AMD FSR. It's 1.0.1.39157, so a completely different version very very new compared to the previous one so what other files can we change so sometimes it also helps if we uh, update the d3 d12 renderer and as you can see here we can go into the d3 d12 folder we go to the properties of the dll and this is the 1.6.10.4.0 version and we can do the same exact thing we can right click rename this go to the end of this and type in backup and uh, as you can see here uh, from the open gpu fsr uh, older we we have exactly the same naming scheme so i will drag and drop this uh, dll file over here and as you can see it's uh, a newer version it's the 1.614.1.0 so these are newer versions so we don't need this 7-zip being open anymore we uh, copied the files over that we need if something doesn't work usually it's going to be because of the uh, d3d12 core.dll especially if you're on windows 10 this doesn't work really well maybe the directx12 integration into windows 10 is not the same as in windows 11 and it acts up uh, in a lot of situations if you're on windows 11 it's probably fine but either way if something doesn't work just um, delete this file and then rename 
this file from backup to uh, just dot dll delete the dot backup portion of this and you will have your original files um, in the worst case scenario you can also delete everything in here and just check integrity of files um, through steam and it's gonna work uh, exactly the same probably will take a bit more time depending on your internet connection and your drive speed but this is I think a lot faster and easier just take a backup so anyway let's try running the game and uh, see if this works press yes on the UAC prompt I'm gonna see the launcher pretty soon yep the launcher seems to be working. We seem to be finding the menus, but just to make sure everything works, uh, I'm not going to join in a quick play games or something, but I am going to go uh, into practice mode. Even in the face of cosmic cataclysm, every one of us can make a difference. Okay. The game seems to be working fine. Let's go and use some FSR. We're going to go into display, go into AMD FSR. Let's go with native. And this is using um, 313. So it has all of the improvements uh, in uh, visual quality and bug fixes and all of that good stuff. So let's go into, let's say quality. We gained a substantial amount of FPS. Everything seems to be working completely fine. It's a really, really clear, but I do see some staircasing and uh, over here when I move the cursor I do so see some simmering but the thing is in a fast-paced game you wouldn't really be noticing that um, but yeah you get all of the improvements what are those improvements we can actually exit to our desktop and go back to their web page and you can see here uh, updated effects um, AMD Fidelity FX Frame Interpolation Swap Chain 1.1.2 uh, Super Resolution FSR 3 FSR 3.1.3 includes a number of fixes for issues discovered with FSR 3.1.0, 3.1.1 and 3.1.2 and has been tested and optimized for Microsoft GDK for Xbox Series X and S Basically that's it, you just copy and paste your files and uh, you're gonna have a better experience because you're probably gonna get uh, potentially better performance and in most of the cases bug fixes and better image quality so in general this is totally worth it in my opinion as you might see a small but noticeable FPS boost especially in Marvel Rivals this is what happened for me when I uh, replaced both of those files, not only the FSR file, and uh, potentially improved image clarity, and especially in motion, it had a big difference. And also the huge benefit is if you encounter any issue, if you follow this tutorial and you just have your original files backed up, you can just uh, replace your files and then continue playing your game as uh, nothing ever changed, so yeah. Pretty simple stuff. That's it for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope this helps you get the most out of uh, FSR in your games. Remember to like the video and uh, enable all notifications by clicking that bell and subscribe for more tech tips. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and let me know if you notice any improvements after updating your FSR. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay nerdy. Bye bye, geeks. Bye bye.